Okay, the, re the reason we got this tree stand where we put it in, I mowed this trail. There's a trail that goes off to the east, and a trail that goes off to the southeast and angles up on that ridge. And right now I'm facing due north. And the deer come down here in the evening, go to a food plot or a food source, but I'm, oh, I'm 400 yards, 500 yards or worse away from any food plot. But you catch them coming and going. And in the rut that the does traverse up and down here, that's where the bucks are going to be looking for scent. So that's why that tree stand is where it's at. That's so fresh it's wet. Yeah. Got man. flies on it. That's brand new deer. Squishy, bright green. Put there today or last night. That's why we set up on this trail. This is a good rub tree. Matter of fact, I'm going to start to rub right now. I take my saw and scuff this up. We get that ripped off of there. It's not going to hurt the tree. You want to make it visible. There's a rub attempt. They come down through here. That's a good spot for them to stop and rub on that tree. This is going to be an east, southeast, northeast wind stand. The trail's moving north and south. And it's easy to get in and get out. And you've got to have multiple stands. One stand on a food plot won't cut it. Uh, because you keep going there over and over. Pretty soon the deer will get wise and they'll show up after you go home. But anyhow, we got this nice oak tree uh, it's leaning back and that's really a plus because that way you can lean back against it. Now, when you put these ladders up, it's nice. You go up pretty easy, but it's nice to have two people. All right, I want to talk about the tree stands and safety first has to deal with a mouse trap. When I taught bow hunter education, I had several people set a mouse trap. And you could not believe how full grown men were so scared about setting a mouse trap. And it was like they didn't want to get their finger in it. Well folks, without one of these tied off to a tree, this is meaningless. Without one of these, you will break your friggin' neck. This will only break a mouse's neck. But I couldn't believe how scared people were about setting a mouse trap. And they were like, oh, I'm gonna get my finger. <laughs> I thought you was a man. Anyway, don't be caught up in that. Wear a safety harness, a full body harness when you're in the tree. And the thing about also when you're hanging a tree, you can tether off up there and put a tether up, but you're gonna to have to climb up there without the tether. Now, what I mean by that, this is a full length tether. And that's where if you have two people you can go up and you can tie this off and then so you anchor yourself off here and this moves up and down the rope. This, this, this end, let me get this off. This end goes around the tree, but there again, you, you know, the first 
virgin time you go up there, you're not going to have that on. But once you, you once you get it on, then you fasten this. You can either fasten it to your side belt or you can fasten it to the loop in the back. And how that works is, as that's up there tied off on the tree, as you climb, you keep sliding this. Now, th that will hold you if you fall. So, that way you're always tied off on the tree. But always have a full body safety harness on. And don't be afraid of that as you are of a friggin' mouse trap. We need this brace. Gotta put this brace on. We'll get this up here. I use these double head concrete nails. And that way when it comes time to take the stand down, you could you got the head to pull it out of there with. Drive that all the way down in there. You can strap those on also if you wanted to. If you're on public ground, you didn't want to drive a nail in the in the tree, which you can't do. Anyhow, we'll tighten this brace up a little bit so that that don't collapse in on us. But when we get done, we got to push this out, put a little outgoing tension on it. But for now, we just got it to where we can get up there. These straps that you use, you want to make sure you buy new ones every year. Because, especially if you leave these out in the woods and they get weathered, um, you're putting your life on, on the line with them. So you might as well have new ones. This where it comes in handy to have a person on the ground. Because, as I said, the initial climb, you're going to have to climb up there. You can't get this belt up there unless you climb up there. And so that's why it's nice to have like Deb or some, an assistant so if something goes south on you. Anyhow, we'll go up there and we'll get this tied off and then come back down. Now that you got that up there, all you have to do is keep, you hook this on and move it up as you climb. Anyhow, you got this on your, you got this on and you want to get it slid up there, slide this knot up. that goes down, that tightens if you put the weight on it. So, you start your climb from the ground, you're completely tethered off. Like I said, on the initial climb, you're going to have to climb up that tree without that. If you were to fall, that, that will catch and hold. Again, now you're completely tethered to the tree at all times. That'll help break your fall. All the way up to the top. You're completely attached to the tree at all times. I can take 
the belt and attach it to the tree. And in some cases, if you're a little apprehensive of that belt, you can go ahead and put a couple of them on. It doesn't hurt nothing. And if it gives you peace of mind, then by all means do it. See, you're tied to the tree, constantly tied to the tree, and you got your belt on, now we're going to come back down. Anyway, it, it was still completely attached to the tree at all times, except for the original time, and that's just, that's why you have two people insecure, and don't think the most secure people are the ones that fall out of the tree. Anyway, as you go back down, now, if I was to fall, you see that? Right there. I can't fall any further than that. I'm not hanging on to anything. If I won't, if that slip knot up there holds my free weight. You can see I don't have any weight on the ladder stand or nothing. That way I can't hit the ground. I can't say the name of that knot. Percentage knot, uh, not good. But you know, that's what that knot's about. It, it locks onto that rope and it keeps, breaks your fall. Gives you a chance to recover and works out just fine. Now a subscriber of mine sent me these and they're PVC pipe camouflaged and I feel like crap because I can't remember. I looked and looked and looked for the correspondence from the gentleman, two gentlemen, and I could not find the man's name or the correspondence. But it was really nice that he sent me these. And I told him I would use them. And, and what they are, you strap them onto the tree, then you can stick branches in them to break up your background. And we'll show you how that did that. What I'm going to do is put these up here. And uh, now remember, I'm tethered off to the stand. And as I ratchet this on, That's ratcheted on. Now, I'm going to put another one on this tree. Okay, I put the other uh, limb holder on the other side of, of the tree. These are red oak, pin oak type uh, limbs, and these, 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 their leaves will stay on. Oh, they'll stay on forever now. Uh, they'll be on for the next summer. But uh, anyhow, you want to tie them on. And that way you can pull them up the tree. And everything should go pretty good. This is the importance of the haul line. Now we're going to pull these limbs up. And I'm tied onto the tree also at the same time. But a haul line is a necessity in a tree stand. You definitely want to be tied on when you're doing something like this, that's for sure. There, now you can see, for the most part, I've disappeared. This spot down here, if I come to full draw, you wouldn't be able to see me draw. Depth on the deer trail. 
and they traverse north and south. So if they come up here, and have them come to full draw, I totally backdropped thanks to a subscriber with the PVT tube. There again, I apologize for not being able to remember the gentleman's name. But as you can see, I can stand here and I'm basically disappear. So these leaves will drop, but these leaves behind me will stay all year. Just remember, don't get anything else out of this video. Remember this. No pain. This on equals no pain. This off equals a broken neck, a broken back, and death. That's what a mouse faces with this. Don't be as dumb as a mouse.